In this guitar instruction video, we're going to go over some tapping and uh, how to bend the correct way. So, um, I want to make this distinction. If, if you're tapping, I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This is actually technically not tapping. It's, uh, it's if I'm a right-handed guitar player, it's um, hammering on with my right hand. I'm just, I'm playing with my left hand. And if you're a left-handed guitar guitarist, you're doing it the opposite way. But as a right-handed guitarist, I'm playing with my left hand and this is a right hand hammer on. Tapping technically has to be 12 frets away from that note. So, but I'm going to call it tapping any any anyway because we we all know it as tapping. And I just recently learned this after after over 40 years of playing. So, if I want to tap, basically show you the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to tap with my first finger. Okay? So, up here you're going to go to the 12th fret, second string. And you're gonna, you can tap with your first finger. Second finger, I'm gonna tap with my first finger. So right here, right? But I'm putting my, my first finger on my playing hand on the fifth fret, second string. So first finger's on the fifth fret, second string. Then I'm gonna tap first. And when I tap, I'm gonna pull off. And then I'm going to bring down my fourth finger to the eighth fret. Lift up that fourth finger. You get a little faster. And also, you can do that with your second finger. So I'm going to stay on the second string, and you can go to the First string, the third string, the fourth string, the fifth string, different frets. But if you never really performed tapping before, this will get you going, you know. It's an adequate way to tap. Or a right hand hammer on, okay, as a right hand guitarist. So now, instead of having... Uh, your fourth finger going on the eighth fret, your third finger is going to go on the seventh fret, second string. So you're going to, first you're going to tap and pull off and then bring down your third finger. You lift up your third finger. Your fourth finger, third finger, you can combine them. So it comes in comes in handy if you want to do that's tapping okay technically once again the tapping is you have to be 12 frets away so you know, we're going to call that tapping it's a right hand hammer on Okay, bending. So we're going to go to the 7th fret, 2nd string. So when you approach the guitar, when you're playing lead, do not have your hand go on like this. Okay? You can learn to adjust your hand. But I come from it like this, almost like a handshake. It is like a handshake. My hand is like this. And I come at it and put my thumb in a comfortable, comfortable position where then you can see that my fingers are really not coming at the guitar neck from this angle, but from this angle. And I'm putting down my first finger that way, my second finger this way, my third finger there. Because primarily, uh, and most of the time, I'm bending with my third finger. I still use, I, I'll use my second finger or my fourth, but I'll use my third finger and my fourth finger the most to bend. So this is what you want to do. I'm on the second string, seventh fret. I want to get that note to sound like two frets away. 
a whole step away from the, I want that seventh fret to sound like the ninth fret. And when I'm going up, I'm gonna undo my sleeve here so you can see I am moving my entire forearm. I'm just not moving my hand. Watch. See how my forearm is moving? I'm keeping my wrist still. I'm moving my forearm. Keeping my fingers still as well. I can do it with my second finger. Third finger. So come at it from this approach. Angle your fingers that way. And when you bend, keep the fingers as stiff as possible. If you're new here, I've explained how to play that as well in my previous video. So if some of you who are returning, you already know how to do that. But I'm bending. So if I want to bend with all four fingers, keep my first, second, third, and fourth fingers down because I want to have the coordination. I want to have the control as well. That's a full step bend. If I want to make a half step bend, step and a half. You can see that my fingers, especially if I'm up here, my fingers are going to start going underneath the strings, especially with a step and a half, which is three frets. So right here, notice that when I'm bending, multiple bends, I got that angle approach, my forearm is moving. So I'm up here on the 14th fret of the third string with my third finger. Hammer on, pull off. Tapping. So when we bend, back on that seventh fret, second string, be sure that you do it with your forearm. Keep your fingers as still as possible. That is the correct way for bending. You can hold the bend too. Bring down your fourth finger. Now I'm on the third string, seventh fret. I'm holding the bend. Put more, my fourth finger on the second string, eighth fret. Coming down with it. If I want to come down with the bend, you see how I'm moving my forearm. That's it. So make sure when you bend, not to sound redundant here, but it is of utter importance that you do not bend with your fingers. Approach it with the angle and bend with your forearm. Well, good luck with that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep playing and have fun.